Many games have checkpoints which save your position in the game so that when you die you can respawn back on that checkpoint. This allows you to create games with multiple levels that will then send you back to the last level you saved the checkpoint on. That means you can make your games much more challenging while also being more forgiving depending on the amount of checkpoints you place in your levels. So I am going to place a checkpoint on my objects layer. I'll go find a checkpoint object I could use. This little po is pretty good for that. And I might put one. Uh, let's put one right here. And then I'll put another one over here. Okay, now our checkpoints. Let's go and add a script to one of them. And we want the checkpoint to check if it's overlapped the player, like our last few objects. So we will say when created, disable my physics. Set physics enabled to false. And then when the level starts, we'll save the player as a variable. Create a variable for player, make that an instance. And that'll be given its value based on the first instance we can find with the player tag. Then we constantly want to check if we're being overlapped by the player. So constantly, if, then from sensing, myself uh, down under instance detection, myself overlaps instance player. Then what do we want to do? We want to update some variables. We'll create some new variables to keep track of the player's X position, the player's Y position, and the level that they're on. Very important. So we know where they are in the level and we know what level they're on. And so that we can have this information work across levels, we're going to have to use global variables, which remember their values across levels. All objects, all levels will be able to access global variables. So there we go. We've got our global variables player selected. That's from global and local. We want to create three new variables. So let's click create global variable. First one will be player x. Uh, so player start x position. We'll make that a number. And then another global variable will be player start y position, which will also be a number. And then finally, we want a checkpoint level, which will also be a number. Levels are numbers. Okay, so let's put the player start x position inside our if block. If we're overlapping the player, we're going to update the player's starting x position. Then back from global and local, we'll grab the start y position, and we'll also grab the checkpoint level. Okay, let's set that to the X position of the player when they overlap the checkpoint. So we'll go to transform and grab X position of myself, but we'll make that X position of the player. So when the player overlaps the checkpoint, it'll remember its position as this global variable. Same thing for the Y position, so we can just duplicate that X position block there, make that Y position of the player. And then we want to remember the level that we're on. We can get that from control flow from our go to block. We'll make that go to, uh, we'll, we'll drag next level out of the go to block. We can throw the, the go to block away and we'll change next to current. So that'll give us the current level number. Okay, good. 